In the name of Allah, and may his peace and blessings be on his messenger. Almighty Allah says, Now surely to Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and on earth. And surely Allah's promise is most certainly true, yet most of them understand not. It is he who gives life and who takes it, and to him you shall all be brought back. O mankind, there has come to you an instruction from your Lord, in a healing for what is in the hearts, and for those who believe, a guidance and a mercy. Say, it is by the favor and mercy of Allah, and in that let them rejoice, for it is better than what they hoard. Say, look at the things Allah has sent down to you for sustenance, yet you label some as forbidden and others as permitted. Say, has Allah indeed authorized you, or do you forge a lie against Allah? And what do those who invent lies against Allah expect on the day of judgment? Verily, Allah is full of bounty towards mankind, but most of them are ungrateful. Allah is the Lord with no associate to his domain. His promise is true and binding. How could all this not be true when he is Allah, the Lord of all the worlds and master of all existence? How could it not be when he gives life to whomever he wants, whenever he wants, and then takes it away at will? How could it not be when all creation will inevitably return to him as they are his slaves and his creation? Allah says, None in the heavens and the earth can help but come to the most gracious as a servant. He holds them all to account and has numbered them precisely, and every one of them will come to him on the day of judgment alone. Allah did not create his slaves aimlessly or leave them without guidance. Exalted is he. He sent messengers with books to guide them to the purpose of their creation so that he may be pleased with them. Allah guides us to improve our lives, illuminate our path, and grant us serenity under His governance. The Qur'an is the constitution of this nation, revealed by Allah to our beloved messenger Muhammad, peace be upon him. It is, as described by Allah, instructions from our beloved Lord to us servants, and a healing from the temptations, suspicions, and desires in our hearts. The Qur'an is a guidance and mercy from Allah to His believing servants, as they use it to discover the Creator's intent and then hold steadfast. Allah reminds the believers to rejoice for His greatest favor and mercy to mankind, Islam and the Qur'an, and not rely or be engrossed in the worldly riches that they may amass. Allah then criticizes those who forbid and permit without his consent, when it is his exclusive right to set these laws as he has already revealed the Qur'an to guide their lives and outline what is forbidden and what is permitted. Indeed, they invent lies when they claim the right to legislate or claim that Allah approves of their legislation. What do they expect Allah will do to them on the Day of Judgment? It is indeed a frightening threat, understood only by those who truly know their Lord. All praise be to Allah that has favored us with his blessings and guided us to his book. Meanwhile, most people are ungrateful and actually, regrettably, they are disdainful. Woe to them. May the peace and blessings of Allah be on all those who follow his guidance. Mm -hmm.